Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Cometti. It's good to be back. Boy, did I miss it here in Brisbane. The weather can't seem to make up its mind. And welcome to my co-commentator and Richmond goal-kicking legend, Matthew Richardson. Hi Dennis, I've been waiting for today's match all week. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. Umpire tosses the coin. Brisbane kicking to the left of screen. Round nine. I think it's more than fate that is dragging these two teams reluctantly down the ladder. Thankfully though, they're evenly matched, so it could be a tight game. The players are all eagerly awaiting the siren. The first quarter officially started. It's not about being better than someone else. It's about being better than you were the day before. Rich gets the hand pass. Nice interception. Gunston got under it. Gunston slams one on the boot for goal. Plenty of shots are spoiled at the last moment by efforts to add just those few more metres. Hawthorne by a point. Looks like he'll go out wide. May is playing on out of the goal square. Sends it on its way. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Lester with the mark. Jams it on the boot. Marked by Zorko. Gets boot to high. Strong mark. Card met with a clinical drop punt. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Puopolo gains possession through the interception. Scoops up the ball. McAvoy puts it on the boot. Nice work from Burgoyne. Jams it on the boot. Lester takes it well. Kicks. Marks. Kicks. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. McAvoy may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Zorko marks it. Puts boot to ball. Burgoyne with the ball. He kicks the ball. Strong mark there. McAvoy boots it. Bruce takes the mark. 40 metres out. Bruce takes a shot. The goal for the Hawks. Goal. That's the first one of the game. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Tap by McAvoy, with the ball now. They've conceded possession. Jams it on the boot now. Grant grabs that one. Sends the Sharon on its way. He wins the contest. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice mark under pressure. Kicks it across the ground. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Blessed it with the kick. He gets above the crowd. Gardner's got all the makings required to become a great servant of this football club. I reckon he could become a 200 game player. Zorko puts his boot on it. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. He wins the contested mark. Kicks towards the middle of the ground. Nice mark there. He kicks it long. Taken by Gunston. A long way out. Kicks, stuck the mitts out and held on to it. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. Roost might struggle for this distance. Nice mark there. A set shot on a 30-degree angle. Sicily, going for number one. Gets the distance. The Hawks have scored the last two goals. Hawthorne by 13. Sicily has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. Martin was hit with such force that he couldn't hold on to the footy. Langford picks it up. Marks. 
He spears the ball. Strong mark. Puopolo gets a less than pretty drop putt away. Choose to kick it. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. 45 metres out. Sicily has the chance to add one more to his tower. The Hawks in front. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Tap by Martin. Rich gets the tap. He gathers the loose ball. Puopolo with the running catch. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Strong mark. Christensen kicks. Zorko takes the mark. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Kicked by Bimpy. Dances around the boundary line. He tried and he failed. We'll have a throw in. Puopolo is coming off. I can't understand that. You need to speak to the coach. He hasn't done a thing wrong all day, so why bench it? It would leave the pinatas for the kids. Tap by Zorka. Keys. Bumps. Handballs to the running man. O'Brien cool under pressure. Releases in time. Lucky bounce collected. Gathers the ball. Going for goal number two. And they like it behind the goals. He likes it. Goal. Hawthorne for the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 25 to 0. A dead straight bounce. Hipwood looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. That was all Cameron. Cameron is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contests because he just isn't making an impression there. Sending it on its way, Christensen taking aim. Going for goal number one. That ball's travelling. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Siegler decisively. Tapped by Hipwood. Brandt gives the ball to the man on the run. Lobs the pass. Has it got the carry? A monster of a kick gets home. Chalk it up six points. That's his first. All is in readiness. There's the bounce. Segler, he's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. Mick Stay puts his boot on it. Pitwood slams the ball to his boot. Impy spills it. Is he spotting a fly? Witherden collects it. He hand passes it. He grabs it off the ground. Cutler takes a shot. Cutler has got it. Danger signs for the Lions. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Umpire bounces the ball. Sigler taps it. He has the ball. Handballs from the tackle. Squeezes out a handball. He kicks quickly. Paparoni passes it. Goes for his 50. Good mark by Trulli. Kicks into the middle. Takes that one strongly. Burton puts it on the boot. Brandt with the mark. Brandt sends one up towards the wing. Time to see if there's anything interesting in amongst the stats. Marks of The second quarter has begun. Obstacles are those fruitful things you see when you take your eyes off your goals. Squeezes on a handball. McAvoy kicks from the pack. Kicks it across the ground. He was never going to get that. Robinson goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several tick. Impey gets the upper hand. Impey feeds it wide. Good mark by Brioli. Chip kick along the way. Brand marks it. Brand. He's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. Lining it up with the goal now. Sicily goes for home. Magnificent goal. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Martin with the tap. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Christensen sends the ball on its way. Stratton kicks. Nice hands. Booted by Bimpy. Takes that one strongly. Boots it. Takes that one strongly. O'Brien. He's quite clean. Picking up the ball on the half volley. Strong mark there. McAvoy kicks it. He marks the ball. He kicks the ball. Gardner with an easy mark. He boots it. He grabs it. 
A low stabbing kick. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Shields sends the ball on its way. Mitchell has some potential and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. Martin kicks the ball. Zorko with the spill. He picks it up. Gets the handball. A solid use of the body there. Gives it to the running man. He slams that on the boot. 50 metres from home. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Andrews throws the ball. Free kick. Ruffhead panels the ball for goal. Hawthorne with the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 43 to 12. Roughhead, it's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Great mark under pressure. Hodge sends one up towards the wing. Takes it well. Chip kick along the wing. Langford grabs that one. He gives it a punishing kick. Takes it well. Brand may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. He almost anticipated just where the pass was going and got there first. Bruce shoots for goal. He could not have kicked that any better. Hawthorne out in front over the Lions. All is in readiness. There's the bounce. McAvoy gets the tap. McStay with the football. Guided by Gardner. Sicily taps it. Guided down nicely by Hodge. Handballs. Brand handing it back now. Martin pummels him, but the kick gets away in time. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Kicks into the forward line. Pointless attempt by Bruce. Bump by Andrews. When he tackles you, you think the roof has just fallen in. It's impossible to outplay an opponent you can't outthink. Think about that. Sicily making a mess of that kick. Hawthorne starting to exert some dominance over Brisbane with a lead of 50 to 12. Gunston drops it. Roughhead handball short. He's heading for home. Gunston shoots it. That's two in a row for the Hawks. The Hawks starting to exert some dominance over the Lions with a lead of 56 to 12. Gunston has his feet firmly on the ground and is just a great leader around the club. Cutler soccer's it. The ball is soccer. Riverdon takes aim for goals. A oh, tough break. This is the footy equivalent of Roper Dope. The Lions are barely hanging on right now. Frawley waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Riverdon going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short. Tactically this week. He kicks it. Gun barrel straight. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Boy, did they ever need that. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Segler. It's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Good mark. Puts boot to ball. Cameron marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. Burgoyne marks it. A rush kick. Robinson claims the ball. Kicks it across the ground. Keys looking like a Manchester United player. He picks it up. Puopolo gets it out of the congestion. Goes up the line. Strong mark by Andrews. Trims the grass with that one. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. Marked by Sicily. 45 metres out. Sicily taking a chance at goal. What a great goal by Sicily. Four goals and no sign of stopping. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Hipwood is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Ziegler. Cutler in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. Gets boot to high. Which taking aim. Going for goal number one. Which slots the goal. You heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Here's the bounce. Segler is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Segler hands over the ball. McStay puts his boot on it. He gets it under pressure. He kicks the ball. He comes off hands. Langford kicks it. He handballs it. Missed his target by hand. He'll get a free for that tackle. Far too high. Burton kicks it a long way. Marked by Robinson. 
A low stabbing kick over the top of the pack. Spears a low ball, takes it well. Richo, how well are these teams performing? The huge difference in score is not reflecting minuscule difference. A nice long half-time break, and we're ready for another half of footy. They struggled throughout the first half, but there's still a half a game to go. Takes it well. And Brian kicks. Takes that one strongly. Too far out to score. Sure, he's kicking from a 45-degree angle. Roost a long way out. Having a big day going for goal number four. Nice work from Bruce. This kick has extended their lead. Hawthorne lead Brisbane. Bruce can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Impey goes down like a silent tree in the forest. McAvoy hitting in. Watch his style. McAvoy whacks one on the boot for goal. Hawthorne have scored the last two goals. The Hawks starting to exert some dominance over Brisbane with the lead of 74 to 25. Martin can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. He boots it. He gathers up the intercepted ball. Gives it to the running man. Sicily hits the post. Hawthorne by 50. Mays to bring it in. Bruce presents and takes the mark. 30 metres out. He's kicking on about a 30 degree angle, which could prove challenging. Hawthorne lead Brisbane 81 to 25. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. McAvoy with the first touch. No good tackling him there, mate. There's nothing to damage. High tackle. Takes it well. Sends it on its way. Hands like dinner plates. Sicily will have to put everything into this one. Going for goal number five. That kick was gigantic. Great goal. I'm sure we'll look back and exaggerate the distance in years to come. Sicily has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Martin without a touch. The clearance by McAvoy. Gardner decisively. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Zorko with the tap. Hipwood decisively. Stratton onto the ball. Hits the running man. They've conceded possession. Slips the handball to McCluggage. He's racking up possessions. Well, Brisbane haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Langford kicks the ball. Shields marks it. Sending it on its way. McCluggage takes the mark. Puts good to ball. Great grab. Christensen setting his sights on the goals. It's good to leather. Nice hands. Hipwood shoots it. Look at that. He's put it through. The Lions are just being completely humiliated right here. Hipwood is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. McAvoy nicely outclassing Martin. Burgoyne with the kick. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Brisbane haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Burton slams the ball to his boot. Brand slams the ball to his boot. He gets the upper hand. Burgoyne puts the ball in the hands of fate. Out on the full. McAvoy coming onto the ground. Mitchell kicks hard along the boundary line. Gardner had no chance at that one. Brand with another possession. Boots it. Martin tuckers it. Guided down nicely by Pipwood. Matheson aims for his man on the ground. He's got the football now. He's got the football now. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. Brisbane haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. That's a nice strong mark. McLuggage boots it. Cutler with a strong mark. Choose to kick it. Zorko looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. He kicks the ball. A great mark under pressure. Pat will need to pull something special out here. 
Good mark by Dimpy. Gets boot to high. Nice work from Burton. Burton. He's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. He gets boot to the ball. Strong mark there. Witherden goes for home. The Lions play the collective side below. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Siglet with the tap. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Siglet with the kick. Cameron swoops on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. Cameron slams it on the boot. Puopolo with the mark. Puopolo is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Burgoyne slams the ball to his boot. He slams that on the boot. Strong mark there. McStay with the kick. That's a nice strong mark. Martin puts his boot on it. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Hip wood kicks. Great mark under pressure. Christensen slams the ball to his boot. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goal. It's not the easiest of angles this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Witherden must be aware of the pressure he's under. This needs to go through. The Lions fans will beat the traffic home today. Not long left in the third term now. Frawley to bring it in. Langford gets the mark without contest. Jams it on the boot now. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Choose to kick it. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Puopolo has it. Time to check the stats, Richo. The tackling has been really equal in this match so far. Hawthorne 35, Brisbane 27. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats, 37 to 24. Thanks, Richo.
There's the siren for the final quarter and play is underway. Pain is temporary. It may last a minute, an hour or a day or a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If you quit, however, it will last forever. Wow, do they need to score. The Lions get a goal. That's his second. Lots of time left to play. The margin might be a little too big, though. Here we go. McAvoy decisively. Smothers. Rioli aims for his man on the ground. The umpire calls advantage. McStay gets the ball. Nice drop punt. Roost marks. 50 metres out. Kicks. Gunston spills it. Rioli with no time to delay with that kick. Fantastic goal by Ruffhead. It looks like the Hawks have this one in the bag. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Martin taps. Lucky bounce collected. Burgoyne gets a nice bump from Rich. Lobs the pass. Intercepted by Langford. Is in his possession. Finding the running player. And they like it behind the goals. He likes it. Goal. Three goals and a fine display from Rich. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. McAvoy is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Puts boot to ball. Gunston, with beautiful hands above the head, he really is a great target to kick to. Martin kicks it. Puopolo spills it. He lays off the pass. Quick hands finding the running player. Burton looking to make them pay for that turnover. Impey handles short. He asks for it back. Marked by Rioli. Trims the grass with that one. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Nice work from Matheson. Kicks hurriedly. Rich presents and takes the mark. They're firing like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. Burton with a clinical drop punt. Spilled by Rioli. Does well to keep it in play. But his attempt was in vain. It's over the line. It looks like the umpire has decided it's a boundary throw in. Martin got a really good footballing brain. Matheson plays it off to the man on the run. He handballs it. The loose ball is collected. Langford with the kick. A nice contested mark. He kicks the ball. Puopolo with an easy mark. Sending it on its way. He wins the contested mark. Kicks it. Mitchell gets the upper hand. Kicks hurriedly. McClungage with the mark. Works it across the ground. Good mark on the run. Low spearing kick. A solid mark from Martin. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But the Lions' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. He slams that on the boot. He boots it. He lays off the pass. Martin intercepts it. it looks like he's got an injury. Martin has got a really good pain tolerance, but gee, that looks nasty. Langford dodging for no reason at all. And the mark will be paid. Sending it on its way. Puopolo really forced to earn that mark. He gives it a punishing kick. Takes it well. O'Brien sends the ball on its way. Over the top of the pack. Hipwood with the kick. A mark by Burgoyne. Kicks it across the ground. Great mark under pressure. 50 metres from home. And looking to add another. Gathered by it next day. Soccer kick. Pinpoint accuracy from Ruffhead. He's giving all he's got this match. That's number three. Ruffhead has the ability, I think, to be a 20 to 30 a goal season player. Here's the bounce. Big thump from Ziegler. McStone charges fiercely with a powerful bump. Who was that to? In technical terms, he's made a real pig's ear of it. Approaching the goals now. Tapped. By Gunston, he gains possession. Bastanak finds his man on the move. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Burgoyne told me recently that he really loves playing for this club and you can really see it in his attitude on the field. I think he's going to play for this club for a long, long time. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Segler goes for home. Segler goes long and gets the goal. Hawthorne for in front. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Hipwood directs it down. Impey controls. Missed his target by hand. Kicked by McStay. 
Gets the loose ball. Lobs the handball. Bill calls for it back. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Robinson with the mighty fist. Mitchell, I have no idea how you managed to get that out. Roost in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. The 45-degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. Wins the handball. Hardwick lines it up. 40 meters from home. A set shot on a 30-degree angle. 25 meters out. Roost whacks one on the boot for goal. Hawthorne starting to exert some dominance over the Lions with the lead of 106 to 50. Mays gets set to kick it back in. Plays on. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. The Brisbane forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. He gets boot to the ball. Whittled by Bimpy. Not the most exciting match, no real competition between the teams. Disappointing. Richo, how did you see their performance in today's game? Brisbane clearly didn't have their heads in this game. Perhaps they were too busy thinking about the nightclubs they would frequent tonight. If the players keep this up, they won't be on the list much longer. Final scores are 106 to 50. Thanks for joining us, Richard, but that's all we have time for. It's been a pleasure, Dennis. We'll catch you next time.